In this week's edition of The Scoop with Spoon, hard work and versatility has earned a local man an extraordinary career, working all over the country and rubbing elbows with big stars. I'm just going to swing this up over here. Side pass him to the right. I always want to do your back girth last. Ethan Lee is a real-life cowboy who lives in Ameet. He grew up at rodeos riding bulls and horses, worked for years as a rodeo trick rider. His name was mentioned when Free State of Jones was being shot in the Covington Folsom area. The Matthew McConaughey movie needed some extra help tending to the horses. Ethan decided to give it a try, but didn't really like the hurry and wait mentality you often find in the movie industry. He said, if I get through these two weeks, Hollywood doesn't have to worry about me ever again. But he changed his tune when the checks started rolling in. Sure enough, there was a piece of limestone in there whenever I... And so I told my wife, I said, you know, I can't make what I'm making on the set, you know, shooing these horses and doing the things that I do, so maybe I should get this you know, take advantage of it while it's here. And the jobs kept coming because Ethan is a jack of all trades, making saddles, prepping horses, teaching the actors how to ride. These actors are learning to mount, get on, get off. It sounds easy, but there are people that, that they have quite a time learning. It. About four years ago, he was asked to work on the Paramount Network cowboy series Yellowstone. They originally told him it would be a couple of months, but when they came back and told him to pack for six months, he turned it down. All of my kids were small, and uh, so, I, I, you know, Dad just didn't want to be gone that much, you know? And so when we're in their mouth, like, rodeoing off of them, then it could hurt them. Ethan's wife, Dr. Brennan Fitzgerald Lee, is an equine veterinarian. On top of work and raising the kids, the couple own about 10 horses and 25 cows, so it's a lot of work when he's gone. And I even told my wife, I said, I, I kind of regret turning that down, you know? It, it sounded like such a good deal, and... and um, Something that may be fun, something that may go uh, seasons. So Ethan and Brennan thought about it and decided if Yellowstone called him back, he'd give it a try. And they did call back. What was supposed to be two weeks is now going on four seasons. <laughs> on top of prepping and caring for the horses, most of the actors on Yellowstone had no riding experience. So Ethan runs a cowboy boot camp to get him ready every season and then is on call to teach riding lessons, whatever the actors need to feel comfortable in character. He'll give to the pressure of that bridle. See him tuck his head right there. I'm barely asking him to move back. I'll take us down. One night they were shooting a scene with lots of horses, cattle, sirens, helicopters swooping in, and Ian Bowen, who plays Ryan on the show, just wasn't comfortable riding with all the distractions. All of a sudden, Ethan was expanding his resume. Hold your fire. He said, well, hey, I need you to get in wardrobe and, and stunt double for this guy, Ian Bowen, he's not comfortable. I said, sure, no problem. Ethan says the most memorable stunt so far was a bar fight in season two. Oh, no! They pick me up and they throw me over the bar and I hit the, I hit the back wall and coming down, my foot hit one of the, the beer taps. And so I'm down on the floor and this guy jumps over and he's beating the heck out of me and just beers running all in my face. And so it was just, it was super cool, you know? Just because, I mean, hey, that's that could have actually happened. What's the game? Whatever you want to do. <laughs> Yellowstone writer Taylor Sheridan was writing Ethan into scenes as Ethan, a Yellowstone ranch hand. And by the end of season two, he made him a part of the cast. For me, it was a huge deal, you know, and, and always will be. During another scene, there was a cat fight, and Ethan got caught in the moment. Something that just kind of bubbled out, and, and I just jumped up and said, I got 20 on Texas. And so... Um, I was kind of thinking, well, I hope nobody heard me, really. Ethan didn't want to mess with the integrity of the script, but the writers noticed his ad lib and post editing and loved it. Now, he wasn't mic'd up during the scene, so they needed him to drive to New Orleans and do a voiceover so people could hear him. I got 20 on Texas. No, 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 no. So I had to go to the studio and, and say this line about 100 times. So they liked it. Ethan said no one imagined Yellowstone would become one of the most popular shows on TV. We had to ask him about some of the characters. Like, is Kelly Riley anything like her abrasive role of Beth Dutton? Beth. <laughs> Kelly is the sweetest lady, one of the sweetest ladies uh, that you'll ever meet. 
which just shows her uh, her acting ability and, and and her skill level there is just off the chart. She owns her character. Maybe next time someone puts their hands on someone from the Yellowstone, you think to give me a f***ing call or your vouchers break it up. Rip is a lot Maybe like time. that in person. <laughs> he is he is 90 um ready for anything. Um Likes to ride. If he's if he's on his horse, he wants to go fast. You know, he wants he wants to run. Take this real slow. First time he asked me to go fly fish with him, I was kind of thinking, what am I going to talk to Kevin Costner about? You know, so <laughs> it's bad, but you have to plan to go. You know, but I was a little uncomfortable. I'll be honest. And so whenever we uh, we're getting I'm getting ready for this trip, I'm like, man almost to the point of not even wanting to go anymore. But then I just said to myself, I was like, you know what, he puts on his pants, one leg at a time like I do. Ethan continues to work on Yellowstone and is now also working on the set of 1883. You can even see a couple of the family's horses on the shows. The Lees certainly don't look a gift horse in the mouth. They're thankful for the Hollywood opportunities and are enjoying the process and Ethan's ever-expanding role, especially the kids. They're still at the age where dad's cool. I know that'll change when they're teenagers. They like it. They get to come to Montana and hang out on the ranch and, and watch the cameras roll and, and kind of watch it watch the show be made some, so it's, it's a big deal for them. Ethan found fame when he wasn't even looking for it, but he still prefers Amit, the one horse town where he hangs his hat. The pressure's off. I get to hang out with the kids, hang out with my wife, do things around the place, you know, ride my own horses. Uh, I'm not on a schedule, and uh, I just, I love it. I love coming home. And Ethan met his wife. She came into a saddle shop where he worked to get a belt made. And guess when she got the belt, guys? Not until their fifth anniversary. <laughs> he, <laughs> said, I, time. he said, oh, I thought it was a pickup line. I didn't know she really wanted a belt. I'm surprised That's he's funny. not getting three paychecks as an actor, a stuntman, and the uh, wrangler, too. Oh, I you think know? he's getting paid for all of them. I'm, he's I'm hilarious. He what yeah. a fun character. I love when he just jumped in and ad-libbed the scene. He's like, I, I lost myself. I lost myself. Yeah, I got 20 on Texas. Yeah, what a cool know what person. Worked. And guys, he's an Amy. We're going to be live in Tangipahoa on this Friday. Okay, Very good. nice. Everybody All right, thanks, Leslie. Maybe horse you'll come story. on the set. Yeah, that'd be great. With a horse. Ride his, ride his horse. All right, we got to go. We'll be back in a minute.